you guys ever seen someone who could deadlift 700 pounds and speak parcel tongue? Pussy so she so shush. Out of nowhere, he'd just be <laughs> like he's got like he's got a brick of peanut butter in his mouth. Welcome to the video, yo, Silent Mike, man. Today's a good day, like every other day. We got a Q and A, taking it from Silent Mike with two Ks on Instagram, answering all your questions. I got a little front squat. And then probably just abs. So training's kind of basic, maybe a little cardio. We got meetings all day long. We're heading to LA, so things are ripping and rolling. You know the ripping and the tearing video? It's like this old guy, <laughs> and he's like dancing, and he's talking about the ripping and the tearing, the ripping and the tearing. He's dancing all sexual. Comment below if you all know the ripping and the tearing. I think it's the ripping and the tearing. But yeah, we got a little front squat, because I back squatted yesterday. Joe asked me a real good question about squat every day yesterday. Shout out my boy Joe, another really, really top level strength coach. And he said, uh, what uh, variations am I choosing? And I told him, I'm making them fucking up. Now we got no plans. But again, as strict as your goals are, as strict as your plan needs to be. My goals for my diet are quite strict. My goals for squatting is to have some fun. So my plan is outrageous. Also, we'll see you in Santa Clara. August 13th and 14th, we got a booth, man. Good Company's first booth, Third Street Barbell. Exclusives only. The first touchies at the Expo. So Power Fest, Powerlifting Expo, Santa Clara, August 13th and 14th. Hola Español. Che, como esta? Se, bien, tu? Hey, che, huh? Do I speak Spanish? It's embarrassing. Like over, if you take like number, over 50% of my family lives in Argentina. My mom was a Spanish teacher for like 25 years. My Spanish is below mid. Oh, Paul. That's hard, bro. I've never done that. Normally, I'm, I'm T-Rex in it. Yeah, it's a flexibility thing. But now we're getting there because I'm so gosh darn skinny. Here you see me. Now you don't. Oh my God. This is a medium. This is a medium. <laughs> Adult medium. You're asking the wrong guy. I don't eat enough. There's no motivation, really. It's just like, it just goes back to discipline. Skinny folks, dude. My heart, my heart is with you guys. Skinny guys, you, all you gotta do is eat more. All you gotta do is eat more. It's like, bitch, you have no idea what you're talking about. Gaining weight is de uh, objectively more difficult just because it's more action versus inaction. Like, if you're trying to lose weight, it's lack of action. Not being hungry is the worst feeling ever and knowing you have to eat. I'm the kind of guy, like, five caffeine in the morning, 10 o'clock, I have an energy drink. Bro, I, I could go till five o'clock and be like, oh shit, I didn't eat today. It's easy to beat yourself up on both gaining weight and losing weight. It's just hard. I think in general, like, um, you know, there's 20, 30, I'm making these up, but 20 to 30% of people have no issues with food, right? They can eat as much as they need for their goal and not think about it or stay at a healthy body weight. Um, and the rest of us are probably split into, you know, in America, it might be more like 50% plus struggle with eating too much. And then the other smaller percent, 10, 20% leftover uh, struggle with not eating enough. A lot of people blame it on hypothyroidism and, and, and all these things. And that is a very small percentage of people. I'm not joking or whatever about it not being real. It's real, but it's not the majority of us. And people blame it on all these things. The other one is genetics and metabolism. The difference in, in metabolic uh, needs from human to human that are about the same size and weight is minuscule. So don't blame it on that either. He's got a fast metabolism. He's got a slow metabolism. He eats everything he wants and doesn't gain weight. That's all just not true either. The fact of the matter is preparation fixes all these things. So I have struggled eating too much. So what do I do? I take trigger foods out of my house so I don't overeat. I plan my meals ahead, both in my phone tracking and mentally and physically. I know what I get to eat or what I'm about to eat the rest of the day. And same has to go if you want to gain weight. If you want to gain weight and you open your fridge and all that's in there is a bunch of lettuce, you're not preparing yourself to have the actual success you want. So I hate to be the how bad do you want it guy, but if you actually want to reach these goals, you have to prepare and set yourself up for success. Get the meals ready. Get the, the steaks ready, get the chicken ready, get the rice ready, get your fats, your proteins ready to eat throughout the day. Track your food ahead of time, 
even if you're gaining weight, often people talk about tracking macros to lose weight. If you have issues gaining weight, muscle, strength, size, you need to track your food just as much, just as strict as if you're going to lose it. Um, is this supposed to be gym specific? Oh, whatever, whatever. Anything. Okay, so I guess one of them that um, isn't really gym specific is getting more comfortable posting more and just having a, a better online presence um, on my Instagram. So it's growing a little bit and um, I want to be able to post more comfortably and show more of my personality on there. I feel like a lot of my feet is just like lifting, which is totally fine, That's, that really is me. But I want to get comfortable with like, sharing who I am with everyone and getting to know other people too. Um, as for gym goals, it's just really building right now. So the next meet I know I'm going to be doing is nationals next year. So that's more than like a year um, that I have time to, to prepare for. So I really just want to build from the ground, like get strong, a really, really strong, strong foundation. So whatever I have, like 420 tempos, just trying to build that up. I'm not worried too much about like anything else other than getting my sets of sevens up. If we want to get really specific for deadlifts, which is my strongest lift and my best lift, I'm working on trying to keep my hips from rising off the floor, which is more noticeable when I'm doing pause deadlifts. So my hips would rise and then my back would kind of correct itself. So I'm trying to get everything smooth right off the floor and then lock, my lockout is fine. Well, people know my deadlift mostly, not my spot or bench, but it's not perfect. It's like, it's good, but it's not perfect and I still want, I still want to work on it and make it better, so yeah. My Instagram is avi.lu, so A-V-I dot L-I-E-U. Follow me there. <laughs> I got so many talents, none of them are hidden no more. They all been seat. Um, we talked about it half jokingly, but not. If I knew, I was so in my bubble growing up because I did go to that art school. A lot of my homies didn't play video games like I did. They played, but not like me. I think if I would have known there was more like a tournament competitive pro scene, I think I would have tried to go in. Um, as a late adult, like streaming and shit's been so fun. I didn't really know that was a thing. Like I watched YouTube and stuff, but I didn't know how those guys became pros. Like I didn't understand it. And you know, sometimes to like learn a lot about stuff, you need the homies to bounce it off. Right, like you say, like, oh, you seen this sneaker? And I'm like, oh yeah, but have you seen this? And you kind of share info and you all learn different things. I didn't really have that with gaming. Um, so maybe gaming and streaming harder. Because I didn't start streaming until I was like 28. I mean, I gamed my whole life, but it was just like, not that it's too late. I, I still think I might go harder than that, but I, I really do enjoy gaming competitively and as an entertainment. So yeah, the Call of Duties, the Halos, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, so maybe that. I mean, we still got the Twitch channel if y'all want to follow it, but we don't use it a lot, but we might, we might. Ladies and gentlemen, man, eh? little tips on diet, little tips having fun. Front squat PR, I guess, just because I never used those bands before. Um, we're heading to LA tomorrow, so next couple vlogs, we'll be in Los Angeles, Barber Brigade, Barber Brigade's meet, kicking it with Bart and them. Appreciate you guys, give this thing a thumbs up. Be sure to like it, share it out as much as you can. We're gaining a little momentum on the channel again. Appreciate you guys, shout out to Seabass being consistent. We're grinding them out. August 13th and 14th, we'll be at Santa Clara Convention Center for a Power Expo. If you want to grab some exclusive clothes, we're going to be there. Um, competition weekend here, September 10th and 11th. Sacramento, Third Street Barbell, open to spectators. Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next one, man. We out.